Okay, um, this particular topic is super fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> we are just um, going to square. Wait a minute, what did they do? Oh, they took what was inside first and they canceled the ends. See, there's three ends in the numerator and six in the denominator. So they just took away three from the six and made it end of the three. And then they squared everything. You have to remember to square the numbers. That's the biggest mistake people make is if you have something raised to a power with variables, people will forget to actually raise the numbers to the, that power also. So here's just everything squared. And then that's how they got their answer. So um, first, let's simplify what's in the uh, what's this called? In parentheses. So we have here, we have five X's here and three in the denominator. So I'm going to take away three and I have two left in the numerator. Um, there's one Y in the denominator, six in the numerator. So I have six, uh, no, five left in the numerator. Okay. So I don't have anything in the denominator yet. Okay. I mean left. So I'm going to just be much nicer if I just erase that and we're raising to the fifth power. So then you want to multiply the two and the five, so we get x to the 10th, y to the 25th. So you multiply when you raise a power to a power, and that's your answer. So x to the 10th, use your right arrow to get off of the exponent there, y to the 25th. And we'll go on to the next one. So yeah, I think it's way beneficial to simplify what's in the parentheses first. Oh, okay, wait. Okay, wait, can we do, can we? No, we can't simplify what's in parentheses. See, then they throw something like this in. Okay, so I'm gonna cube everything first. Don't forget to cube the number. So the three cubed is 27. And then we have to multiply those exponents. Two times three is six. And then we take two to the fourth power, which is 16. And to the, what's seven times four, 28. So we have to take away six from the 28. So N to the 22nd. So it's going to be, our final answer will be 27 divided by 16 n to the 22nd. There we go. So we have 27 divided by 16 n to the 22nd. Sweet. Okay, so then we shall move on. Ha ha. Okay, now we can simplify in the parentheses. So I'm going to, ha ha, let's simplify the numbers first. So we're going to have a one in the numerator, a two in the denominator. Take away two y's from what's in the numerator. That becomes y squared, x squared, and then we're going to cube everything. So we have x to the sixth, y, y to the sixth divided by what's two cubed. Is that eight? Two times two is four times two is eight. Yeah. So then we come in here and we do x squared right arrow y squared right arrow divided by two and we're good to go try again okay what did i do so we have three goes into six two times x squared stays there four minus two is two wait what's three times two six oh i put two instead of eight ah you guys saw it i didn't okay oh come on that's what I wrote. What did I write? Doesn't tell me. Well, maybe I didn't. Well, whatever. Okay. I could do it all again for you, which I'm going to do before I do my next video, but I think we're, we're good. I just must not have typed the eighth correct way or something. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to end the lesson and we're going to call it good. And I'll correct it um, off the recording. Okay, thanks for watching. That's the end of the lesson.